Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Hassan. Tonight, I am cooking Yao Han, a traditional Cambodian hot pot. My family used to always cook this when we had gatherings and it was one of my favorite dishes. It's very simple, very easy. So, for the broth, garlic. Fresh garlic crushed. Get your garlic, break it up. Simply crush the garlic and remove all the skin. Always try to use fresh garlic. Don't buy the pre-chopped. You do not need pre-chopped garlic. Uh, regular garlic is totally fine. You want people to be able to eat the garlic as well for the garlic lovers when it soaks in the broth. Next thing, fresh Thai chilies. Simply remove the stem. Now you can put as much Thai chilies as you want, depending on how spicy you like it. <clears throat> I prefer around nine to 12 chilies. For Thai chilies, you can simply cut it in half, chop it up, however you desire. For me, into thirds should be a perfect size. So after you crush the garlic, and chop up the Thai chilies, we are gonna start working on the broth. So, get your hot pot ready. If you don't have one, a regular pot is totally fine. Toss your garlic in. Thai chilies in. Coconut milk. One can. Next. Asian barbecue sauce. I use the Bullhead brand, but any other brand will work. If it doesn't open, simply hit the sides a little. It should pop off, hopefully. There you go. Let's get this one ready. So three jars, Asian barbecue sauce. Make sure you do scrape the inside of that jar. Don't just get the oils in there. You wanna get all the barbecue seasoning in there. Do not let any go to waste. Now, if the broth is too strong, just water it down with some H2O. If it's not spicy enough, add more fresh chilies. If you have a hot pot, turn it on to simmer and we're gonna let this slowly come to a boil. All right, so mix up the pot. You want all that coconut milk, that white creamy coconut milk to start vanishing. Mix all that barbecue in. It does get chunky at the bottom, like so. So make sure you break that apart. It's very important. You do not want your guests eating chunky pieces of barbecue sauce. So as we let that sit and come to a simmer, 
Let's talk about meat cuts. So for meats, I prefer top round sliced beef. For meatballs, we have beef and fish balls, mussels, sliced salmon, white fish, scallops, and quill eggs, of course. For the vegetables, you have a wide variety. I prefer fresh cabbage, Make sure you wash it well through the leaves. Next, chrysanthemum. This is a very delicious vegetable. You usually use it for teas. It gives you that little bitter taste but in Southeast Asian and Chinese hot pot, it's a very amazing item. Cut the ends off. Now, don't be afraid to buy a lot of vegetables because they do shrink down in size when you start boiling it. Next, mushrooms. There's a wide variety. I prefer enoki when it comes to hot pots. Make sure you remove that end. These are no good at the ends. You do not want to eat that part. You will see a line and how it starts thickening on the noki mushrooms. Use that as a guide to cut. And last but not least, baby bok choy. All right, so setup is done. You can literally get all these items and ingredients in the store already prepped for you ahead of time. Prep time should only take you about 15 to 30 minutes. It's very simple. We're gonna move to the table. Since this is a very short video, we will be filming a mukbang. So check it out. Yao Han is finished. Now we're gonna eat up. So yeah, everyone dig in. Enjoy. <laughs> 